Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to go over a few things that were required for uh, this week's update. So we have to have at least three classes. Uh, two of those have to be inherited classes, and we need to have an example of encapsulation. Let's start with classes. I have three classes, character, player, and enemy. Now, the, the character is the main class, and the two that are going to inherit from character are player and enemy. Inheritance facilitates code reuse, and, and both the player and enemy characters share common properties and methods defined in the character class. Encapsulation is achieved through the use of access modifiers like private for fields name and health in the character class. It restricts direct access to these fields from outside the class and ensures data integrity. Access to name and health attributes in the character class is provided via public properties, name, and health. This encapsulates the in internal implementation details of the class by allowing controlled access to its attributes. So by employing classes and in inheritance, the code demonstrates the principles of object-oriented programming. Encapsulation ensures that the implementation details of the character class are hidden from the external code, promoting better code organization and reducing potential conflicts or errors. This design allows for easy extension and customization of character types, making it a solid foundation for building more complex game systems. So that's about it. If you like this video, smash the like button, and we'll see you all next time.